hey guys welcome back to my channel again i'm here with another video and this time around this video is for moms that do not know how to braid or make cornrows but they are interested in making their kids look cute and they want to do like crochet braid but they don't know how to go about it this video is for you you just need a few things which i will list in the description box down below and so this hair i've washed her hair and i've used the comb i showed in the video previously to you know blow dry her hair on medium heat to give it a little bit of volume and to make it easy for me to separate and uh, then I'm, go I'm going to go ahead and use hair jam to you know apply in the front of the hair to slick it down with a, a bristle brush then I'm going to just like pack the hair like with like a brush you know like I'm like I'm you know brushing it Then I need elastic bands for this hairstyle so I'm going to pick one and uh, I'm going to hold the hair down. This is really, really easy. If you can't braid, you can hold hair down, right? You can, you can pack your child's hair. So this is like separating our hair in, in um, smaller sections for you to just, you know, hold down with the rubber band. And please, rubber band do not cut hair. Uh, if you want to remove the rubber band, you would remove it carefully. Don't snap the hair with it when you are removing it. So it doesn't cut hair. I see a lot of comments where people are asking me if it, if it cuts hair. It doesn't cut hair. So um, I'm going to repeat the same method on the other parts that I created also. And with the help of the hair jam, I'm going to like slick it down a little and do like an identical, uh, you know, thing in the front. You know if you don't want to like for this style if you don't want to do like a center part you can do a side part you can even like pack the hair into one like one in the middle you know and you can still achieve this style you know it all depends on what you want but i just think that her having a center part in the middle would be cute so yeah what i'm doing is that i'm going ahead again to subsection the remaining parts in the front so in total like what i'm trying to do for these sections like I'm going to have like five sections so this middle one is the third one and the large part you see at the back I'm going to see section it into two making everything five and I'm basically doing the same thing like I did in the front I'm going to use um, hair jam smoothing it down a little bit and just use the hair band so a uh, rubber band to hold it down if you don't have this kind of rubber band you can use the colored one you have because at the end of the day too it's not be visible in this video and if you don't have the the tiny rubber bands you can also use uh, all those hair crunches those ones that they sell in like primark like the one i have on my wrist yeah you can use that one you know i think you can find them in like primark for a pound is about 30 of it like for a pound though they don't really last but they can achieve this style also so but i'm using this black uh, rubber band and I bought it from my local beauty supply shop and it's about 99p for that back I showed yeah so this is what you'll be doing this is very 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 easy and this style doesn't take up to an hour you just like just something you no know, when kids want to go for like a birthday party or for their own birthday party for like Christmas for like um any occasion you know even if it's cool you can just look cute with this simple style a crochet style and 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 i'm going to introduce the hair that i'm going to use also in this video but let me see let me show you how i connected the dots okay so what i did is i took the one in the front and i made sure that i rolled roll you don't need to break just roll it just roll it like you're just rolling it towards one side then you now take another rubber band and I hook it to the middle one and I just tie both of them to it like this. I don't know if you can understand what I mean. So um, just for you to connect the hair so it doesn't look bulky. So while you're adding your hair, um, the crochet braid, it will not be too bulky. So now the one in the middle now, because it came with two, I separated it into two now. Uh, you know, and, and I now rolled again and I connected it to the last one on the right at the back and i'm taking the next one and connecting to the one on the left at the back this is so simple i might be just be speaking jargon but you can understand what i'm doing because the video is very clear the video is clear yes so you would understand what i'm doing it's really i want you guys to try it and 
if you try it please drop me a, a comment after you've tried it and let me know let me know that you tried it and you liked it or you didn't like it or it didn't come out well just let me know you know so yeah it's good to brush the hair out because with the other one coming from the other side you know it becomes um the the length will not be the same so yeah i asked her to help, help hold the hair down so that i can also connect the two to finalize the you know um sections neatly like so and after i did this she was like oh mommy can i go to school like this can i go out like this i really like it you know it's actually neat you can actually do a hairstyle like this you can do your child's hairstyle like this just like this you can just go to school like this or go anywhere like this it looks nice she was like i like it can i keep my hair like this you know but like don't worry i'm going to do you something nice so and so talking about the hair i'm using today this hair is from expression hair and it's a crochet braid hair it's called multi and the um texture of this hair is nice it's like a four a four lock a four lock yeah it's like a four lock like um it's nice um and i really like it you can carry it like this or you open it up to give you some coils so yeah this is what the pack in number 27 looks like and the one i showed you before is um pack number one that is the black one and this is 27 which is really nice i love this color but i wouldn't be using it on her today because i like using black on my kids and i like using color on myself so if you have any video suggestions for me to do on myself with this color please write down in the description um, in the comment section sorry in the comment section below and i'll be sure and i'll be glad to do it and so yeah this is the color um one now and now this is what it looks like out of the pack and this is one pack i'm going to go ahead i'm trying to see if the length what the length look like on her hair and i and i feel that it's extremely too long for me not to cut into two for her i want her to you know do this hairstyle and also look you know age appropriate something nice and age appropriate so i have to cut it into two but if you feel that you know you can your daughter can go on the long one fine you can do it but for this style i'm going for cutting it into two and so of course we all know how to crochet i just put my um, crochet needle and just pass through her hair and you can see it's firm it's like it's like a hair that is already corroded everything is firm there is no nothing nothing to to stop you and so i just like put my crochet needle put the hair through the loop and hook it out and hook it back and i just um, tie it in only once and yeah this is what you get it's so 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 easy and simple to achieve you don't have to be a pro to try this style you don't have to know how to um you know braid or coral to do this so yeah and uh, if i've not mentioned before this hair is by expression and the fab fiber used in manufacturing this um hair is uh, provided by uh, toya cologne and so they kind of work together to make this um hair and so um this hair you can get this hair around you in the in your beauty supply shops they are and they are sold also online on amazon and everywhere if i find a direct link to to this hair i'm going to put down in the description box for you to see and um any question you have about this hairstyle please let me know and um, talking about removing it it's very easy to remove just the way i put it that's the same way i remove it it doesn't hurt her hair it doesn't hurt nothing everything is beautiful and, and people always ask me how long did this hair take to make it took less than an hour to put this hair together and if you want to ask me also um how long we should take it it all depends on you me i like my kids changing their hairstyle at least every two weeks it depends on the hairstyle though but for this one maybe two weeks or so and i'm thinking maybe after a while i will open the coils up you know you can open the coils for you to look like even different different style but i just wanted her to have it in this way and she really 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 loves it and you can see it's so simple all together i use one and a quarter of a pack so i didn't use two packs i didn't use two packs at all guys i use one and a quarter so i have a few left for the in the second uh, pack and 
is full and nice and it doesn't have any weight it's so 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 gorgeous i like it a lot and she loves it too and yeah this is basically all i went ahead ahead again i just did a little more brush and I, this time around i used eco styler gel and of course i tied it down a little bit so that i can dry so that i can be you know slick and i went ahead and trimmed it because i wanted to have like an even final look and guys this is the final look and we love our hair <laughs> thank you so much guys for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and don't forget to share thank you very much for all your support over the years and we really 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 appreciate i will be happy to film more hair video style for you guys so bye